Welcome back, everybody. Listen, one product you'll see prominently at this year's Taste of Buffalo, especially near us at Channel 7, is Yancey's Fancy Cheese. It is New York's artisan cheese. You know, it's made right here locally in western New York, and they offer so many unique flavors. It is already a favorite of so many here. If it's not Yancey's Fancy, people don't want it, and we love that because, again, it's created right here in western New York, and everybody is starting to get the word about Yancey's Fancy and how great this cheese is. We are thrilled because Jody Stahl is back. Jody's got just a few of what they make here. And we were just looking at some video, Jody, of when John was out there. You folks are in Pembroke getting bigger and better all the time. Yes, we are. We're located right at 857 Main Road, just uh, just off the throughway exit 48A, Pembroke. So we're real easy to find. You are. and. You have so many different varieties, and, and now we're starting to see so many more in our supermarkets. Yes, indeed. We certainly do. We have about 45 different flavors, different cuts. You can see we've got wedges here. We've got bars, sticks. We have it in shingles, which are very convenient for this time of the That's year. That's right. With the, uh, Just picnics. peel it and eat it. <laughs> exactly. Or throw it on a burger. Yep. And we have curds. That's a favorite. A lot of the, the children like the plain mm -hmm. curds, and the adults like the buffalo wing curd, which are snappy with a nice ice cold beer. Oh, you know, Jody, what people love is that here's here's a cheese, Norwegian dill and herb crusted double cream cheddar. You got to go to Yancey's for this. I mean, yeah. these are great flavors. All the cheese is infused with such great flavor, mm -hmm. and and you just come up with these these incredible you know new flavor combinations. Yes, we do owe that to our our team at Yancey's, uh, along with um, our uh, master cheesemaker Brian Bailey, our uh, uh, head of um, sales and marketing, Mr. Mike Wimble, uh, myself, and we have a very large team. Oh uh, we we get it from the production people also. Yeah, so people have ideas. Yes, and they actually become cheese. I mean, it actually comes to fruition. They listen to what people want. Yes, that's yes. awesome. We, you're going to be near us at Channel 7 this year for the taste? Yes, we're going to be pairing up with Channel 7, and I'm looking forward to that. It's going to be a grand old time there at the Taste of Buffalo. Will people be getting samples? Yes, we will. We're going to be sampling the savory garlic buffalo wing. Oh, my. The horseradish and champagne. Got to have something sweet in there, too. Oh, my goodness. I hope, I hope our staff doesn't clean you out before you get it out <laughs> to the public. Let me tell you, Jody, this is just great. But take a look at what you brought to us. You brought to us strawberry chardonnay from the Finger Lakes. Mm -hmm. That's amazing. I call it our strawberry uh, cheesecake. Oh my it gosh. It is just like having a nice sweet addition to your, your any family meal. Jody, do you have um, suggestions on how someone would best enjoy that cheese? Well, um, Let's see. I mean, like, is this just great with a bottle of wine? Oh, yes, yeah, certainly. That is a dessert cheese. Mm -hmm. Now, mm. Um, uh, a new one, Tandoori Gouda. Yeah, look at that. That one, Tandoori Gouda. That one is awesome as far as just cutting off and having with crackers or uh, with a salad and mm -hmm. everything. Uh, the horseradish is great over beef. Oh. This is you're you're known for this one. Yes, yeah. since 1947 we've been making it, so uh, we must be doing something right. That's incredible. <laughs> That's, how many flavors now do you make? How many different varieties? There's about 45, and uh, it's growing. We have uh, about four or five new ones that are. Um, on in R and D right now as we speak, and I really can't, you know, okay. let it slip out. Right, but <laughs> our lips are sealed. But one, the other new one that we have is a natural smoked jalapeno cayenne, mm. and uh, that that is awesome, just as a, a grilled cheese sandwich on a burger, any of your picnic things. You know, just, you don't have to sit in that uh, kitchen and cook hot stuff all the time. Go ahead and make something with some cheese and salad, and uh, the champagne is awesome as a fondue with. Um, Chocolate and fresh strawberries. Ooh. I have to tell you, I had a brother-in-law who used to live in Canandaigua, and when he has since relocated out to uh, Colorado, we went to visit last year, and we were not allowed to come unless we were bringing Yancey's Fancy's cheese. Oh my goodness! Because he was such a <laughs> fan of your cheese, and he couldn't get it out there. So, because you've uh, got to bring it with you. Oh, I, I love to hear that. It's it. You know, we get a lot of nice consumer mm -hmm. consumer uh, reports coming through. I mean, sure, you do get a few. Uh, bad ones that they can't. The bad ones are usually that they can't find the yes, fancy. Right. So not a not a ter terrible problem. No, to have. no. You're just going to have to make more. Exactly. <laughs> and that's what we're doing. Our plant will be undergoing an expansion uh, over the next year. 
It's, uh, we've, we've outgrown our buildings. Wow, so that's <laughs> going to mean more local jobs. Absolutely. And making a wonderful product. And you know, mm -hmm. everybody, it's what it's all about, is to buy local, to support local, and Yancey's Fancies is made in Pembroke. I mean, it doesn't get any better than that. That's a home run. I mean, that's a triple. Right. Uh, as a matter of fact, when you say triple, back in 2002, our um, pounds made was approximately 3,400,000. This past year, 2011, we've done, we about tripled, 10 million 100,000. Wow! Yeah, and all of this milk comes from a, a co-op of dairies within 30 miles of the factory, so it's all local. It's um, it, it's just a pleasure to do everything with the local farmers and know that we're we're in support of New it's York. It's wonderful, State you know. Way. You can really enjoy this cheese, knowing, like you say, it's created from right here in Western New York. These are Western New York workers who are aging this cheese and putting it together. And, you know, you put such a, a personal pride stamp on every wedge. That's why we can, uh, our namesake mm -hmm. is um, Yancey's Fancy Artisan Cheese. Mm -hmm. it's, it's definitely an art. I mean, uh, there's some that are, are pretty much just high production and everything, but we still do things, as we always said, mm -hmm. the old-fashioned way and still hand turn, hand wax, and age on wooden boards. Amazing. Mm -hmm. In fact, we're seeing some of the curds there, and I, I just love this because I think you were one of the first companies to actually sell it like this, so you yes. can just pull out the pieces. And, the, and the, you're right, the kids love this. It's full of milk, it's full of vitamin D. There's a lot of great protein in your mm -hmm. cheese. Whoa, yes. And yes. you know what, and I don't want to eat cheese that comes from somewhere else. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> we all, I mean, think about the things that you're putting in your mouth. You don't know. Well, here you do know. You know exactly where it comes from. You know the people who are putting this together. And this is why they're making 10 million pounds of cheese now, <laughs> because people have embraced Yancey's Fancy. Yes. And yes. again, it's artisan, which still means that you're, you're paying attention and you're making it in small batches so the consistency and the, and the quality stays high. Yes, yes, we do take pride in that. Is it fun working there? You get to taste a lot of cheese? Yes, you do. And uh, when, when the cheesemaker comes out with something new, we're his first taste testers. Ooh, <laughs> good deal. Jody, listen, it's a good time. And we are going to be so happy that you're going to be with us at Channel 7 for those two Looking days. Looking forward to it. Saturday and Sunday, come on down, get ready to taste some cheese. It's going to be fun. Like I said, you can get it away from Keith or, you know, Mike. <laughs> but it's really great. And listen, do yourself a favor and try a new one this week. Pick up something brand new and discover it. And you know, it could be your favorite. And it'll be, hey, you know what, we got to go get some of that mm, jalapeno and cayenne. Or maybe the strawberry chardonnay. Or maybe the steakhouse onion. It's fabulous. Pasteurized yep. cheddar cheese, Jody. These, these folks just do a great job. Most of the uh, the flavors here, and even beyond these flavors, can be picked up at uh, Wegmans, Tops, Dashes, Budways, and uh, a lot of your local wineries carry a very big selection. It's surprising because what goes better with some um, cheese and some wine and exactly. crackers, and you're good to go. And you know what? <laughs> if you don't see every flavor, every variety that we have shown, ask at your supermarket so they Absolutely. can order it. Absolutely, in the cheese special. Uh -huh. shops and the deli. Absolutely. Jody, thank you. And we'll see you this weekend. Yes. Yancey's Fancy, everybody. New York's artisan cheese. Makes my mouth water just looking at it. It's fantastic. If you don't have some already in your fridge, come on down to Channel 7, our tent. You can try it out for yourself or visit your local supermarket. 858-599-4448 is their number. Or log on and find out what's going on at yanceysfancy.com.